Good morning guys. Um, this is a video I've always wanted to do. This is a video about how I camp. Um, I'm on the road a lot and I, uh, I have to tow a boat so I can't tow a camper and I don't want, don't like to be in a, in a hotel because I'm always afraid this stuff's going to get stolen out of my boat while I'm in a hotel. So this video is about all the little cool things that I've found to make camping for me a whole lot more comfortable. All right, so let me tell you, first of all, I have been camping pretty much all my life and I don't like to be uncomfortable. I'm at that point in time where I have slept on the ground, I ain't doing it anymore, um, and I, I hate being cold, so I have to make sure that I stay warm when it's cold outside. But So with that, I have, I have a lot of challenges. Uh, the biggest challenge that I have is space. I have to be able to pack small because I've got a truck and I've got a boat and this boat goes in the water and I've got to be able to store things in my truck to where they won't get stolen. Um, I can't just throw a big box of you know junk in the back, a whole bunch of boxes in the back of my truck. So I am, uh, I, I keep it small. I've always kept it small. So I'm gonna show you guys some of the things that I have real quick. Um, that I, I camp comfortably, I camp, I, I have great food, I have just, you know, some really, really cool things that I think you guys will really enjoy. Let's go through it. Another challenge that I have is that I have to have power. I have all, all these batteries that have to be charged, camera batteries, boat batteries, uh, fish finder batteries for my kayaks when I'm traveling with my kayaks. I just, I've got to have somewhere to plug it in. So I'm limited to where I can camp. So I usually, usually stay at state parks or um, any other RV campsite, which is great. It's 20, maybe $30 a night, a lot cheaper than a hotel. And, um, and usually I get the campsite that's, well, right close to the bathroom. Uh, I don't really care about being on the, on the waterfront or whatever else. Um, if I gotta go to the bathroom in the middle of the night, I wanna be able to get up and go. So that's just me. Anyway, um, let's go through some of the cool stuff. Let's talk about my cook kit real quick. This is the box I travel with all the time. It's always in my truck. Um, just a Plano Sportsman's trunk. I got it Academy Sports. But um, inside it, I've got, I, I've got several things. I've got my cook kit, I've got my food, I've got um, my sleeping stuff. This is a, a fleece blanket um, that I have had for years and years. Bought it at Walmart 100 years ago. Then uh, my 40, 40 degree sleeping bag and my 30, my 32 degree sleeping bags in my tent or in my uh, hammock right now. So this right here has saved my butt more than, I don't know, a dozen times. It is a, a, a down jacket, $40 at, um, where did I get it? Anyway, I got it at some, anyway, some store. <laughs> I can't remember the name of it, but uh, absolutely amazing. I am so happy I got that. It is lightweight, it packs small, you, I mean, totally don't don't go without it man it's one of the nice coolest things that i've bought in a long time so all right let's go through my food stuff i've got a jet boil what this jet boil is is it is a uh, it boils uh, two cups of water in about three minutes and a uh, little tank of fuel this fuel will last me forever and then uh, you take the the uh, the hot water and you add it to your to your meals and i keep you know Keep mountain house meals this is mexican uh mexican style rice and chicken i've got beef stew i've got a bunch of stuff in here uh, for my dinners real quick i have bowls inside my jet boil i've got my fork and my spoon uh just a um it's heaven sent you're talking about being on a pack small eat really good meals and these things are not bad at all actually they're really really good so uh um, they're about nine bucks a piece, but uh, when you got to eat fast, it's it's a lot cheaper than having to pack everything up and go to the the restaurant. This is my 25 quart Orion cooler. It's a little messy right now, but I keep ice and water in it. That's about all I pack travel with is water. Um, some every once in a while I get a Gatorade, as you can see in the back of the boat, or back of the truck. These are my my kids' Gatorade bottles that they threw there. This right here, I found this many, many, many years ago deer hunting, the Thermocell uh, insect repellent. It is, uh, it's on right now. I'm keeping all the bugs away from me. Uh, I keep it and keep tons of the refills in my, in my truck and uh, save my butt a lot. All right, so this was a Home Depot find. Just a 25 foot extension cord with four plugs in it. Um, I can plug my boat into it. 
I can plug all of the batteries that I need to charge, all my chargers and everything else. Um, and look how small it packs. It actually fits right in the back of my boat um, or in the box of my truck. So that is, that's amazing. Very seldom do I need one longer than that. I do keep a longer extension cord just in case, but 25 feet usually is all that I need for a, for a campsite. Be sure to check out my Fishing Shirt of the Month Club. Um, for $10 a month, I send you a really cool fishing shirt. And then check out um, a Special Ops Survivor. That's right, why I've changed this hat. It's to promote that, uh, that nonprofit that helps, uh, helps the wives and the children of, uh, of our Special Ops guys who have been killed overseas. All right, so now let's talk about my favorite thing for my camping kit. Uh, something that has basically changed the way that I camp. I, uh, I don't sleep on the ground anymore. That's, that's for the birds. Um, I found out that hammock camping, uh, I have a bad back, and hammock camping is actually, uh, I wake up not feeling bad at all. I actually feel um, my back hurts worse when, I am, uh, when I'm sleeping in my bed. So, and then I went, when I, when I realized I loved hammock camping, I went looking for the best hammock. I'm in it 20, 30 nights a year, maybe 40 nights a year, and I needed a hammock that would hold up and that was um, that was bug proof because I hated getting bit through the bottom by mosquitoes. So here it is. It's a Clark Jungle Hammock. It's, as far as I know, the only hammock on the market that is, uh, that is mosquito proof on the bottom. It's a four season hammock. I've slept as cold as 29 degrees in it. Um, it's a beast of a, of a hammock. It's not one you want to do ultralight backpacking with, but I've been on a 50 mile hike uh, on the Appalachian Trail in one, so it's not bad at all. It's not too heavy. Um, I don't even know the specs on it, but let's run through it real quick. I mean, it is just, it's awesome. This is the new um, NX270. I haven't had a 250 for years. Slept through two, um, not sleep, but survived two tropical storms uh, in it. Some really crazy weather, mosquitoes, uh, cold weather, the whole nine yards. And uh, it's, it's a pretty neat little hammock. Now I'm not going to get totally into all the rigging and everything else because uh, there's plenty of videos on the uh, on the internet about uh, how to how to rig a hammock, but I did change a few things on it. Um, I, I took and made a continuous loop out of uh, am steel, and uh, and use it in in conjunction with a carabiner and then some uh, some Eno straps uh, is my favorite way to hang because it's just quick. Did that on both sides. I've got a uh, ridge line that I make out of 550 cord, and then this is the uh, this is the, the tarp that comes with it. And I have it set right over here on some pressing knots. And when it's time to, uh, when you know, it starts to rain in the middle of the night or whatever else, I just grab hold of that pressing knot and I slide this all the way over and across the whole, across the whole hammock. So, but uh, that thing, that tarp right there is awesome. Absolutely awesome. All right, so let's dig into this thing. All right, so here is, this is what this will cover right here. It zips over top of the mosquito net. That's an awesome mosquito net, by the way. But um, it's, uh, it's called the weather shield. And what's really awesome about that is that it traps your body heat in. So um, on a chilly night, um, I'll zip it, you know, have it about zipped up about that much. And, uh, but on a cold night, you can zip it all the way up. It traps your body heat in and it is uh, toasty warm. One thing I learned the hard way is don't fart because it also traps that in. It's pretty bad. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, the, the weather shield is awesome. What an amazing idea. And then you got the, uh, the mosquito net, which is uh, no seam mesh. It's really, really strong. Um, it's my last hammock. It was just you know, I beat that thing up and that, that mosquito net held up really, really good. Another cool thing about camping is the critters. <laughs> She's just hanging out. You can tell they've been fed. I ain't feeding a deer. All right, so you look down underneath here and you say, oh, man, what the heck are those things down here? These right here, those are, there's baffles underneath the the hammock and what 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 happens when it's cold or when it's chilly and you're laying in your sleeping bag is that um uh, you compress your sleeping bag you compress the insulation in your sleeping bag and it makes it to where it doesn't really work very well so what these these baffles are for is they trap dead air and uh, that it prevents that 
um, that cold air from getting to your body. If it's a really cold night, I'll shove clothes and stuff down in here. Now, uh, new for the NX270, and the reason I love it so much, let me zip in here and I'll show you. This, the, the one I had before, you had to unzip it to access the pockets or access these baffles. And I use those baffles to store my, my stuff like my wallet, my keys, uh, extra clothes, uh, a bag, a sleeping bag or a, a small blanket um, that I would use you know, throughout the night as it gets chillier. Well, they've changed that and made it to where you can access them from the inside. And that's a really cool deal. So that way, you, if it's cold, you don't have to release all your, your warm air to be able to get your, your warmer stuff out. So I sleep with a small pillow. This is a little camp pillow, a little Coleman pillow I bought years ago. And then my, my sleeping bag. This is a Grand Trunk hammock sleeping bag. It was on sale. I didn't buy it because it was a Grand Trunk, but it was an on, on sale sleeping bag. And uh, that's the biggest reason why I got it. But that's my Clark Jungle Hammock. Absolutely love it. These little deals right here, keep it up out of your face and everything else. Um, I wake up refreshed and it is a an amazing an amazing little hammock and i tell you it has has truly changed the way that i camp um i i don't worry about the places i'm gonna stay it really is nice i'll show you another really cool thing about this hammock hold on a second i forgot this right here this is a pistol pocket gun goes in the barrel comes out this side so if you're you are camping in a shady area or whatever else and you've got a a, a sidearm it goes right here, a little pocket right here for your other stuff, but I think that's really cool. Keeps the barrel away from your head. Real easy to access. Luckily, I've never had to use it. So, they think of everything. But, that's how I camp, guys. It is a, uh, it's a fun little deal. Um, it saves me a lot of money. It saves me a lot of time. That hammock takes five minutes to put up, five minutes to take down. Um, and I really, um, I owe a lot of it to that hammock and to the other things that I have set up and um, it's awesome. So like I always say, be sure to introduce somebody to fishing. Introduce them to my channel. Let me help you teach them how to fish. More importantly, get out on the water, go out and catch some fish and have a great day. See ya.